Ali, there's a place in Darwin that's been frequented by Prime Ministers, Presidents and even Royalty. It was built back in the 1920s after World War I to commemorate the fallen and it cost £100. It's moved around a few times, but now we know it as it sits on the Esplanade. The significant Darwin landmark was erected in 1921, originally in Liberty Square in front of the Administrator's House. It was the first monument of its kind in the Northern Territory and it was entrusted to Darwin's Lord Mayor for safekeeping. The City of Darwin views the Cenotaph as a very important part of our community assets. We spend a lot of time in the parks area making sure it looks absolutely perfect. The monument has survived the 1937 cyclone, 63 bombing raids during World War II, earth tremors and cyclone tracing. In 1971, the monument was moved to Civic Centre Gardens as Liberty Square had become too crowded with government office blocks and the space was not big enough for commemorative services. In 1989, for the same reasons, it was moved to the Old Darwin Oval, a testament to its significance to the community. The access through the centre of the Cenotaph connects the South East Plaque in Parliament House where the old post office stood and was destroyed. The North West access connects to the harbour and where numerous ships were sunk in that devastating first raid. The monument commemorates not only the First and Second World Wars but Vietnam and the subsequent Korean and Malayan campaigns. I think as you see the different um, commemorative services, the 19th of February is a classic example that the City of Darwin holds. Our audiences are growing every year. People, I believe, is actually are renewing their connection to these types of monuments and these types of commemorations. I believe it's really important for the health of this community that we continue with those types of activities.